Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the WTA Finals have just finished, meaning that the WTA season has come to an end. It is officially the end of the season, and we won't be back until late December, early January for the WTA, which means the rankings are finalized. We have a final ranking for the year. Let's go have a look at the rankings. So here are the rankings for the WTA at the end of this season. Sviantec, she stayed at number one for pretty much the whole year. Once Barty retired. Jabur at number two. Pagula comes in at three. But Goff dropped down three spots from last week, down to number seven, making way for Garcia, who went up to number four. Sabalenka went up two spots to number five and pushed down Zachary to number six. So the changes due to the WTA finals really affecting the middle of the rankings. Kazakina, she came in at number eight. Kudumatova at nine. And Simona Halep rounds out the top 10 for this this year. And it's interesting because the only players that actually were in the top 10 this time last year were Sviantec, Jabur, Zachary, and Sabalenka. So six players that we didn't have in the rankings this time last year have made it into the rankings this year. And more importantly, I guess, those players that were in the rankings this time last year completely out of the top 10. Some have gone down outside the top 50. So there you have it. They are the rankings for the year. That's the end of the WTA rankings for the year. Do you see any surprises? from maybe this time last year. Of course, this time last year, Barty was world number one. Sviantec was number nine this time last year, and Jabir number 10, so they've gone up a lot. And as I mentioned, a lot of players have dropped out of the top 10, making way for new players to get into the top 10. Players like Goff, Pagula, Kazakina, getting into the top 10 for the first time. Again, let me know down in the comments below, any big shocks for you on the rankings this year, or is it pretty much exactly how you would expect the top 10 to look like at the end of the season? The WGA Finals ends the season, and they are the rankings for the year.